vortex. Embarrassing admission. Because I, I'm sure that a lot of people probably don't believe me or they probably think that I'm just coping or that I'm lying to myself so that I can live in a prison. Um, and maybe that's true to some extent. I think that most people want social connections. And that's fine. That's totally healthy. The reason why our society is so screwed up is because we don't have anything that's genuine. And so... Leave it to somebody that doesn't desire that to be able to see why it's so dangerous for everybody else. I mean, it's not dangerous for me because I don't want anything to do with it. Social networking is satanic. I understand that people have their reasons for doing it, but they probably ought to lessen those reasons and try to wean themselves off of that. However, possible. Considering what it's done to society, and I'll never understand how people can bitch about the elite and bitch about all the fucked up things that they do to us, and then continue to engage in behaviors that allow those people more power and control. Because that's essentially what you're doing. And I'm not saying you're doing it consciously, or that you have bad intentions for you know, using Facebook or whatever. What's funny is that Facebook used to be college Facebook for college kids only, and now it's only old people that use Facebook. But, you know, there are, like, ways that you can put yourself out there on these social networks, and you can get out information, because that is, like, the avenue that people are... are choosing but um anyway what was I talking about sex 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 <laughs> oh a disgusting hedonistic activity for most and a beautiful love making experience for the very seldom exceedingly lucky few Okay. If there are people that crave sex, if there are people that like have to have sex because of their testosterone or something, then there has to be the, the opposite equivalent of that. Okay? Just like codependency. If there are people that have to be in a relationship, it doesn't matter how shitty they get treated. There, there are people, they have to be with somebody or they, they die, okay? They crumble. They crumble inside because they don't have somebody to uh, sit next to on the bus, okay? <laughs> I just, uh, I don't understand that, but I do understand that in a way. Like... Objectively, I understand that. And I, I think that, yeah, most people do need that. They benefit from having an intimate relationship. They benefit from... And it doesn't have to be sexual, by the way. Um, you know, any kind of intimate relationship has its perks. You know, when you're open and honest with other people. You know, it, it's a good. It's a good thing. It's a good, all right? <laughs> It's a good and a service. But, you know, I love my work family so much. But everybody hates their own family. Everybody can't get, can't wait to get away from their family. Um, I used to feel this way, and I think that's probably why I work at this restaurant. I don't feel that way anymore. But that doesn't make me any less of a black sheep. It just means that I'm more okay with it. 
but yeah, like, I love everybody I work with because they accept me for what I am and they don't try to change me. And, uh, unfortunately, and, and maybe I should just cut off dudes. Maybe, maybe I just need to do that. I need to not pretend that I can be friends with somebody that has a penis attached to them. Um, I mean, biologically, that's why I did that last video about biology. Because it's like, yeah, that's going to present a problem at some point. Like, when I hang out with a guy, I just think of him like I don't think about his penis. I don't want to think about his penis. But he's thinking about my vagina whether he realizes this or not. I realize it because of the tension, okay? And I absolutely hate that, but that's just a fact of life. We have parts, okay? We have parts. The transgender people seem to be the only ones that acknowledge this. <laughs> you know? They're just not happy with their parts, right? Well. Every time I've had sex, I, I said this uh, on stage, the last time I performed stand-up, I said this, and it was fucking true, dude. People probably think this is really weird and this is somewhat embarrassing, but every single time that I've had sex, I just think about everybody having sex. Like, when I meet a couple, like, I, I, that's what I think about, especially if they're married. I'm like, man, these people have sex, you know? And it's just gross. It's so fucking gross. It's like, I have the same reaction to sex as a lot of people have to fecal matter. Okay? Most people don't want to talk about going to the bathroom because it's disgusting, right? Well, I mean, it, yeah, sex is just like two people getting naked, right? Two people get naked. Well, sometimes it's more than two people, right? And they're doing stuff. They're doing sexual stuff with their genitals. And it's just like, ew. You know? And, and every single time, people are like, well, you just, you just haven't had good sex. Not true, bitch. Not true. Do not talk smack about my former sex life. You have no idea what it was. You just assume that because of what I'm saying now. Even the best sex in the world still ain't worth it. <laughs> it's just not. Like, unless you're married and, and you have a baby to prove how good it was, it ain't shit, okay? And yeah, it, I do think it has to do with the fact that I'm adopted. Because it's like, I don't know who my parents are, and it's like, yeah. I, you know, my friend Todd mentioned this. Like, that, oh, the reason I don't want to have a baby is probably because I'm adopted, and like, I... There's, there's no family line for me to extend. And yeah, that's true. But I mean, if I, if I wanted a baby, I'd have a baby. I won't let anything stop me. And I don't think that anybody should let anything stop them from having children. Don't let the naysayers get in your way. Okay? But, I don't know. I just had, I just had a deeper calling than that. And it's probably due to my man brain. Because I can't turn that shit off. I wish I could. I wish I could turn my man brain off and, and go make sandwiches and cupcakes and banana bread and all this other shit, you know? I wish that... I wish that there was a desire inside of me that, that made me want these things more. But it just isn't there. And I'm tired of feeling guilty about it. All because society doesn't understand. But I feel guilty about every motherfucking thing. I might as well just be Catholic, right? Well. I don't need help. I don't need help with that feeling. Thanks, but no thanks, Catholic Church.